guys, it's me, Teresa Perrin. I want to bring you an opportunity that you absolutely cannot miss, and that's regarding cassava science. Guys, I have a very strong hunch that we are about to have a massive gamma and short squeeze. And guys, I think it could happen by this Friday. However, if it doesn't, the play is definitely not dead and it is coming very soon. This is a stock that I think that you can also make a ton of money on. If you missed my video that I did earlier in the week, go back and watch it. But right now, I just wanna give you a brief update and show you what it looks like as far as the gamma ramp up and why I think, guys, that this is a huge opportunity. So let's get started. Please remember, nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own DD. All right, guys. So today, Cassava Science was up 6.77%. Now, in the after hours, they did manage to pull it back under $33. It's down 37 cents or 1.12%. Guys, I don't really care what happens in the after hours. Tomorrow morning, I expect this to rip up past 33. And I'm going to show you in a minute why that's a huge deal and could actually start this to uh, get a gamma squeeze in the works. So let's just look at what it's done in the past week. It's up 10.29% or $3.04. And in the past month, we are up 59.99% or $12.22. Um, so guys, when you see all the Fudsters making comments and talking about how this is a scam and everything else, go back and prove to them that, you know, the Journal of Medicine has already proven that this is in fact factual and it is not a scam. So tell them to, you know, shut the F up and um, take a look and just send them the screenshot of it being up 59.99% in the past month. That's what they're crying about, guys, because they were stupid enough not to cover when it dipped down to $13.84 when they had their opportunity and they've lost that opportunity and it's not going back there. And their pride is taking hold of them. And I'm sure many of them have been shorting this since the top when that Hindenburg short report came out, you know, somewhere between $120 and $140, yet their stupid pride won't let them cover even though they're up, you know, probably close to if not over $100 a share. Um, and yet they're still being ignorant. Guys, it's crazy. It's beyond me, but let's get focused on this. I apologize for my divergence. It's just annoying as can be. Uh, anyways, the past year we are down 30.60%. Yes, thank you to that lovely Hindenburg report. And over the five-year period, guys, we are up actually pretty significantly. I did not put that there. Um, before I start on this, I didn't take a screenshot, but I want you to know that the free float is only 37.27 million shares, guys. It's very, very small in comparison to many other companies uh, with billion dollar market caps. This has a $1.32 billion mic, uh, market cap. And the 52 week low is $13.84. And the 52 week high, guys, is $100. Now, let me just tell you um, go back and watch my video about Samophilim. And I know I'm butchering that again and I'm going to get a comment, but forgive me, I am sick and I don't have the patience to try to train myself to say it before this video. Um, but guys, go back and watch it because when this drug in quarter, this quarter, quarter four, well, this quarter come, yeah, we're in quarter four, quarter four comes out um, next month, actually, we are going to get results, guys, of their trials. And let me tell you, when they come out as good as they are, which I'm sure because we're having a lot of insider buying going on, then guys, this is going to get FDA approval very quickly. Uh, and you watch what happens to that price because we need an Alzheimer's drug, not just for patients, but for the families as well. And guys, it's a horrible disease. I'm sure many of you have seen it in somebody that you loved and watched their decline and them not even be able to remember who they are, how to eat, some horrible, horrible things that happen with Alzheimer's. Um, you know, they try to eat objects that aren't even food. It's heartbreaking. And as a nurse um, that worked Jerry Med Psych, um, dealing with dementia patients and Alzheimer's, uh, and then going into the field of hospice, I've dealt with this much of my career that I worked as an RN. Um, 
and it's heartbreaking. You know, it, it not only affects the patients, it absolutely affects the families, guys. And this drug is a miracle. Um, and I think it's going to be very helpful based on what I've seen so far. So um, based on the order flow that's come in today, you can see that it's positive. Um, the inflow far outweighed the outflow with 13.89 versus 11 for the outflow. So we are in the positive. And guys, yesterday uh, there was a sell off when we hit that high, I'm sure, of 35.50. Today, we had some more buying. Tomorrow, I expect once we push through 33, you're going to see more buys come in because people know what's going to happen. And uh, the analysts that have ranked this so far, it's 75% a buy. And based on four, three of them have said it's a buy. And of course, you're always going to have that one negative nilly with a 25% sell. And I'm sure that's the one who gave the $8 price target with a high price target of $124 and an average of being $69, guys. Like I said, there is a huge opportunity to double, if not quadruple, your money in a short period of time in this stock. When I say short period of time, I expect um, within several months, you'll be able to double, if not very quickly. Um, but quadruple probably within the next year or two when this goes to market, if not sooner. Um, and obviously, the, in the market, there's no guarantees. So this is just based on what my thought process is going forward. Uh, market conditions can obviously change that. Now, guys, we are given short and uh, medium term buy signals, and we're still given that long term down signal um, just because we're in a downturn market. Uh, and we do have a strong bullish signal right now with a total of four bullish and two bearish. And the two bearish guys were not major signals. They just happened because of how quickly we spiked up and fell back down because uh, we couldn't sustain that rapid move that happened. And again, guys, that rapid move is going to happen again tomorrow. This happened because we went and hit that $33 and they had a hedge for that. Then when it fell below, they quickly sold those off because they unhedged. They, you know, they, they get rid of the shares. They don't need them. Now, guys, when we hit 33 and we hold 33 tomorrow, expect that same type of rapid movement. And you're going to see what's going to happen at 35, which they never got the opportunity to hedge for that 35 here because they dropped it quickly. But that's going to change tomorrow, and I'm going to show you why, in my opinion. Could be tomorrow, could be the next day, but I suspect tomorrow. All right, guys. So I go to MaximumPain.com, and I can see from that website the number of contracts that exist and the amount of open interest that we currently have. So um so the the larger number is the contracts already purchased and the smaller number is the contracts bought today. And this was taken guys earlier today, so I'm sure it's higher by now, but I want you to look at something. So right now the 3250s were small, those just went in the money. This is what's going to happen tomorrow. These $33 or should happen tomorrow, I should say. These $33 contracts should go in the money, right? So there are are 1,598 that already exists, another 279 that were bought today, and there's probably more by now because, like I said, this was earlier. So let's just say approximately 1,900 uh, contracts, guys. So they have to buy that number of shares, which is 190,000 shares that they have to purchase when this hit it's $33 to hedge for. And Guys, 33.50, it's smaller, it's a hundred, it's a little over 200 if I add those together. $34, there's another 700, 34.50, again, small, because most people don't buy in the 50 cent range, right? So there's, you know, um, another 100 contracts, more or less. And then at $35, guys, check this out. There is 4,309 contracts plus the 1238 bought today. So there's about 5,500 contracts at $35, right? That are going to go in the money that they will need to hedge for. So guys, obviously <laughs> that's going to be huge and that is going to push the rest of these up. Now, look at what we have going on here when we get to $40, Again, in between, you know, 36 to 37.50, they're smaller. But at $40, guys, 
there's another 3,500 contracts. And then at $50, there's another, you know, 3,400 plus contracts. So guys, I expect a massive, massive move to the upside. Um, there's no guarantees it's going to hit that 40 this week or that 50, but guys, it's possible. So I want you to keep that in mind and I'm going to show you what else adds to it. Not only do we have the gamma squeeze potential, check out the short squeeze potential. This is just nuts. 5.8 days to cover right now. 33.69% short interest. One third of all shares sold guys are short. This is absolutely crazy. So you're going to get the gamma squeeze covering the, well, the market makers trying to hedge by buying shares up right before they get too expensive. And then at the same time, you're going to have the competition from shorts trying to close positions. This is what I'm saying by the opportunity that exists in this stock should we get the volume to come in. So don't miss your opportunity is all I'm saying. This could be absolutely freaking huge. And I'm so excited about it. Um, anyways, let me show you what else. We have currently only 150,000 shares available to borrow. And the interest is 61.85%. So it's not cheap. And guys, as you can see, the dark pool um, has been between 46.2 and 60.70 um, of the short volume ratio. I'm sorry. So the short volume that is being traded in the dark pool. Crazy, okay? It's been pretty much above 50% every single day except for yesterday. And that's because they were able to drive that price down enough when it hit 35 quickly um, to get selling pressure put in. And guys, remember, that's because they unhedged those 35 that shot it up quickly or those 33s rather. I don't think they ever even got an opportunity to hedge the 35. But that's why you saw that selling coming out and why it was putting pressure on the market. Now, the failure to delivers, um, there's not that much. Today, there was 131,410. Tomorrow, there's 81,081. And Friday, 21,800. So guys, the opportunity here, again, is huge. If you guys play this, I hope you crush it. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your night.